If I asked you what the differences between refined carbohydrates and processed carbohydrates are, could you tell me? It's okay, we're gonna get into that right now. Hi everyone, my name is James Marin. I'm a holistic registered dietitian, environmental nutritionist, author, speaker, and diabetes expert. Welcome to another video. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for clicking and watching these great videos. We're gonna be talking about refined carbohydrates versus processed carbohydrates. Okay, what's the difference? Well, I'm gonna tell you, let's get into it. So first, processed carbohydrates are carbohydrates that can be manipulated in any way big or small. So what do I mean by that? Let's take an apple for example. An apple is not necessarily processed, it's a whole food, right? So let's start with an apple and talk about processing. So apple, you can then throw it in a blender or throw it in a food processor and blend it. What do you have then? Applesauce, right? Applesauce. So technically applesauce is a processed food, okay? As we then process it further, we could then get a cheesecloth or get some type of strainer and then squeeze all the juice out, you get apple juice, okay? So that's technically still a processed food, okay? So processed food means just something you do to a food that changes it, okay? It could be small, like going from an apple to applesauce, or it could be bigger, like going apple to an apple juice, okay? Now, refining, refining is part of that processing, okay? So it still is technically part of that processing, but refining means that you're t going from, let's say, 100 things to one or two things, okay? That's the refining process. And we can continue this example, okay? So let's say we have apple juice still, and we further refine. Let's say we dehydrate, we filter and sift and do all these, you know, lab chemical methods and we just get the sugar from an apple. Or we just get the apple essence, so the flavor and the, and the aroma of the apple, which they can extract from fruits and plant foods, right? That's how you get perfumes and different uh, oil extracts and things like that. That's more refining. So technically refining you know, or processing is part of refining, but refining is just the extreme version, right? You're going from a hundred things in the apple to just one or two that you've refined from that apple. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. What's really cool is that when you say processed food, processed foods can be healthy. Like I would say, eat that applesauce. If you left the peel in and you just blend it all together and you just made your own applesauce, great, eat it. That's, that's fine. So processed foods can still be healthy. So when I say processed foods, that could still be healthy. However, when I say refined foods, almost never when I say refined foods, that is that going to be healthy, okay? Refined foods are almost never healthy. Okay, because again, you've taken away all the fiber, all the protein, all the other healthy fats, all the other pectins and phytonutrients. You're taking away hundreds and hundreds of chemicals and just leaving a few and you've refined it. Most of the time, we're refining sugar, right? We're taking corn and we're getting corn syrup. We're taking sugar cane. We're getting just cane crystals, right? We're just refining it and just keeping the sugar most of the time. Okay, so that is the difference between processed foods and refined foods or processed carbohydrates and refined carbohydrates, okay? Processed carbohydrates can still be healthy depending, okay? But refined carbohydrates are never healthy. They've been processed to the extreme where now they've been refined, meaning it's only one or two items left in that product. For the most part, a refined grain is just gonna have tons of starch, tons of sugar, okay? So it's basically a simple, it went from a complex carbohydrate to a simple carbohydrate. I hope this gave you some clarity. I hope you understand those terms a little bit better. I wanna give you this booklet that I made. It's a great grocery shopping guide as well as 101 foods to avoid. This is better gonna help you understand how to navigate food, the grocery store, and understand what to cook and eat. This is absolutely free. If you click the link below, if you enjoyed today's video, as always, share it with friends and family. You're the first to know, so share this information, share it with those you care about, and give us a like if you like the video, and as always, have a wonderful day.